Next generation fighters will reshape air power in three big ways. First, many current air defense systems will struggle. These jets are built to be harder to detect and hit. That means countries will spend big to catch up with new defenses. Second, the mix of a piloted fighter and drone wingman changes how air battles work. It adds more moving parts and more decisions. Air forces will need new training and new playbooks. Third, the cost. These programs are expected to run over $100 billion each. Only a few countries can build them alone. Smaller countries will join partners or pick which team to align with to get access to the tech. But there are real challenges. Costs are forcing trade-offs. In the U.S., the Air Force is reducing some F-35 purchases to fund NGAD development. Some nations also worry about control. Portugal's reassessment of the F-35 included concerns that U.S. managed maintenance and software networks could limit their independence. Similar concerns have surfaced in Canada and Spain, pushing interest toward European options. There's also the risk of an arms race. As one side adds new capability, others feel pressure to match it, which can pull money from other needs and raise tensions. The race for sixth-generation air dominance is one of the most important technology competitions of our time.